Hi, JP. Uh, how are you? Hi, Romanus. Good in yourself. Okay. Next lesson. Apparently, there's a lot of things that happen on your side. I think let's get a, a quick uh, a feedback. Uh, where are you and what is busy happening? Are you up, down? Okay, so I'm, I'm at the same position where I was about two weeks ago. Um, I'm actually going to be down within the next week because I spent some money on Facebook ads that didn't work. Um, although Facebook have, haven't deducted the money from my account, I know they're going to do it this week or maybe next week. So I know I will definitely be 1,300 Rand down. Okay. Um, in terms of, of feedback, what I've done since the last time I spoke, um, I transferred all my money from PayPal to, to FNB. So that risk is covered. Then I started the wealth game. And I'm, I'm also in the process of starting a new company that I've dedicated just for this online business in order for me to prove my, my results. And I've also spoken to an auditor that will audit this whole process for me and document it for me. Um, and then I started building a website. <laughs> okay, uh, th that's great. Uh, and how's the, the website? Because that is a, that's another skill that you are busy learning. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a new new skill for me. A um, little bit frustrating at some times because it's it's technology driven, but it's it's really easy. Um, yeah, I, I think I've done a good job so far. It's not perfect, but it's done. Okay, um, that is what we want. Uh, better, uh, you know, done is better than perfect. And then start small and scale. So, um, in terms of can you uh, perhaps show me the, uh, let me get over to you, okay. Uh, is it possible to share your screen with, with us, JP? And then I'm going to, yes. I just want to see what you've done with the, with the ads. And perhaps you can explain it with the results of the ads. Okay, okay uh, I've got it. You can share with us, uh, JP. Okay, so I posted three ads on, on my business page and I'm just going to run through the three ads quickly. So the first one is basically a free online property training webinar and I say, I put the link there just below the name and then I say now is the best time ever to position yourself in a property market and to grab the best property, property deals of the decade. My name is JP Ranch and I've been investing in property for the past three years and I'm building a passive income empire. You can have access to the same system and online training that I have and build your own empire even if you start small and build your way up. Simply click on the link below and claim your spot in the free webinar and you can access it in the comfort of your own home. And then is here the video where I course is, oh, this is, sorry, this is the video where I explain how I'm building my passive income of 220,000 Rand per month. Um, the post or the, the ad reached 22.3 thousand people and it had 1,600 through plays. Now through play is how I understand it. If someone watches your video for 15 or longer than 15 seconds, that qualifies as, as a through play. And if I drill down into the details, um, it's the cost per through play is about 26 cents. Okay. Okay. And then in terms of shares and comments on this specific ad, I only had about 15 likes, seven shares, but no comments at all. Okay. Then the second ad I personally feel did a lot better. It starts with this. I just bought a, this property for 950,000 less than asking price. Do you have access to the software that can tell you if a property is a good or bad investment even before you buy it? Then I left the link there. We are hosting exclusive and free webinars where we explain how the software works and what to do to get access to it so that you can also calculate the potential growth on your property investments before you even buy them. Then last paragraph, if you have access to this software, you will be way ahead of other property investors and you can literally calculate any property in the world within a couple of minutes. Register your free CD here. Then I left a link. Now this video 
is the one where I stand in front of the house that I bought for 950,000 rand less than the asking price. In terms of the, the reach, 35,000 reach and 8,000 through place. So the first ad had only 1,200 through place. This one had a four or five times more through place. And let's drill down into the results. The cost per through play on this ad is six cents. So it did a lot better than the other one. Then in terms of likes and hearts, I had 70, 71 likes on this one. 29 comments, 30 shares, one or two negative comments, but most the majority of the 29 were positive comments. And then the last ad was a different ad. It wasn't a video ad, it was just an image. And it starts with property can make you or break you. Do you know how to determine the growth on your property investments? 98% of property owners won't know if they bought a good or bad in good, bad, or ugly investment, book your free seat in the online webinar and find out. Then it's just the image, no video. And this one was a different ad. It went for link clicks instead of through plays. And um, let's go to the results. I've had 207 clicks and the cost per clicks two rand and 14 cents. And then the last bit in terms of likes and comments, I only had 13 likes four comments, all positive comments, and only two shares. Okay. I think that is a... There's a, there's a couple of things, uh, JP, that one needs to know. Okay, so the, the first uh, thing, basically, I just want to get the screens back, just a second. The, 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 the cost and the conversion, in other words, what, what it, does it cost you in order to get, um, let's say, uh, a, a sale? Uh, if th that is crucial uh, that we start to monitor that. And then also, uh, something that I, I, I've learned and that I'm busy learning from the second ad that you showed me. And that is typically a YouTube uh, thumbnail and not a Facebook thumbnail. So I think you're only lucky at the moment with that because um, Facebook says that you can't use more than 20% 20 20 of, the, of the size of the uh, screen to capture your, your text. And you've got a hell of a lot more than 20% there. So I'm not sure how on earth you're getting that right. But uh, I've... I've, I've, I've I've learned something and I'm going to ask Lara to look into it because if you can do it, then obviously... You see, this is the beauty about uh, this stuff, uh, JP, is that um, the moment that you start following the rules and you don't bend the rules, you don't know where the rules are, you don't know the, the outside of, of, of the rules and of course you, you didn't know that. Uh, maybe you found a, a loophole or maybe they just simply did not pick it up. Uh, that's it. Um, yeah, I think it it can still come. And I'm sorry because I've, I've, I forgot to mention that my first ad was blocked this morning by Facebook, and I think they said it was multi-level marketing or something like that. I still need to go into it. So they already stopped the one ad. Okay, now. So it it, it can happen. Okay, this the fact that you that you got away with it so long is already a huge positive. Okay. Because okay. the moment that you, especially the moment that you start using Bitly links, uh, they see that as as you short circuit the whole process. They don't like affiliate marketing, and they definitely do not uh, do multi level marketing. Now, this is not multi level marketing. They say it's multi. It's it's affiliate marketing. But they did not see your affiliate link, and that's the reason why they stopped you. Okay. But um, how many? Uh, on that ad, how many um, click-throughs did you add? On the Which one ad did was it? Well, um, it's not the one that you showed us. So, it, it, yeah, it shows through plays, which is only the amount that they watched. That that's eight thousand. But I, I saw something here. Yeah, link clicks is only eighty-six. So only eighty-six people clicked on my link. 
So it, it looks like that ad is more ad for to get video video views instead of link clicks. Okay, uh, which uh, which ad was that, uh, JP? Uh, this was the one where I'm standing in front of the house. Is that that the one? Is that that one that looks like uh, YouTube? Yes. Okay. Um. So the one with the image had a lot more link clicks. The, the, the one with the image had 200 and 217, let me just make sure, 207 link clicks. Okay. What I want you to do uh, at the moment, uh, JP, is to stop the ad so that we can go okay. back and have a look at at the strategy where we can do it and one of the things because you've got between the two ads you've got about 10,000 you've got a little bit more than 10,000 um, uh, people so I think I want you to set up a custom audience but before you run that custom audience I want to come back so in Facebook manager you're going to go to the videos and then you're going to have a look at it, uh, and Laura, Laura will be able to help you. Uh, check the videos that played more than 50% of the, the video. Okay, so if they, they watch, maybe we should do it less. Uh, first of all, see at 50% at how many people actually watch up to 50%. And then you build a custom audience. If it's less than 2,000, uh, come back to me so that maybe we should decrease the, the, the time. Now, uh, typically what we do is we run an ad uh, for, for likes and then we build a custom audience around them and then we actually place the ad. So the first one is just to, to say, okay, I've, I've got this with no links. And that is something that you can uh, uh, try. On the first go, without the links, uh, what was the what was the 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 amount of views that you got on that uh, where you stood in front of the house is it possible to recall yes let me just look quickly so what was the the the, the cost per uh, view okay so i'm gonna go for through place because yeah. that's the only yeah. option that they yeah. give me it's six cents okay and the previous uh, run that you had before you uh, before we stopped it the first time? Yeah, it was also low. It was under 10 cents. I can't remember. I think it was something like 8 cents or 9 cents. But it was also low on this specific video. Maybe I can find it. Okay, it's not necessary. Uh, we'll come back uh, in any case. But I think that is the first thing. In other words, stop that, that um, video or the videos or all the ads uh, at, at this stage. And then let's recoup because uh, those bitly links are going to create a problem. So we need to find a way perhaps around that. How far are you with your own website at this point? I'm about 95% done. Okay. I think it's, it's something that I can publish already in, in the open. There's just one or two things that I'm struggling with groove pages where I um, publish the website, but then... I know it takes some time for them to actually reflect the changes on, on the new new website. So I've, I've published it last night, but this morning when I had a look, the changes still didn't happen on, on the new website. So uh, once that's done, I'm, I'm ready to, you know, publish it in the open. Or okay, people can a, start visiting it. There's a way around this, and I'm going to uh, ask you to contact Laura, but not today, uh, tomorrow where you're going to start building a database within Facebook. You don't actually need a website. And we've seen that the moment that you do it that way, then the landing page will be our webinar page. So you're literally going to build the database in Facebook, and then you can export that. So you don't actually have to build your, your website in order to, we call it the bridge page. But there's a, there's a way that, that we've seen that you can 
that you can use Facebook in order to, and it's a lot easier to do it actually in Facebook than to direct them first to your site before you, uh, for the bridge. Okay, so, uh, but I'm going to ask Lara, uh, or you can contact her tomorrow. I'll, I will tell her that you're going to contact her. And then we're going to try okay. that one on the one, because then there's not going to be any links, nothing, right? So they won't be able to see. And I'd like to see what's going to happen with that, that thing like, that looks like a, a YouTube thumbnail uh, that you are using. I think it's because of the video that they don't pick it up. And then we're going to run on, 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 on just that one. But at the same time, uh, tomorrow when you speak to Lara, let, uh, if, if, you, if you don't get it right, uh, figure out how to get uh, to uh, uh, audience, a custom audience based on the people that has actually seen the video already. Okay. Because there's another strategy that we can, that we can try there as well. Don't run the next until you've cleared it basically with me because otherwise we can see that the strategy that we are busy running at the moment is not working and therefore you can waste a you can waste all the money that you've made and people do that on a regular basis. I, I think somewhere down the line, maybe with one of the other recordings, I've said that uh, one should be very careful in the beginning. You do stuff and then it works and then you assume that you know, but you're only lucky. Okay, now the work begins and now we have to sort yes. out, but why is it not working and what is working until you get that right and then you start with the scaling. Okay, so, but I, I think we've, we, you've done... You, you uh, mentioned it to me before, Anas. I think it's, it's what you could refer to as the honeymoon phase. That's it. Where I started getting these sales, and now I think I know how to do it because I've already made 21 sales, you know, but now all of a sudden, it's like a little wall that I've hit, and I need to improve my skills, but this is where, where it comes in now. I need to and that is, improve my skills to get that, this. That's the way that it works. Uh, some people are lucky and they, they get it right from the beginning and other people are in the honeymoon phase and then they come back to, okay, but now the, the world, uh, we need to carry on. And, and some people take three months to a year and they give up before they start seeing any results. So in your, uh, in, in your case, it's we, you are actually very, very lucky, but you have to see this phase through. And we... Because this is now the time that you're building skills. Before, it was luck, okay? Or just the universe is waiting for you to say, okay, um, there's another uh, way for you to maybe make... But now the, the grit starts. You know, you have to bite, for, bite and say, okay, I'm going to see this thing through. The most important thing that, that is busy happening now is you are learning the skill. Okay, and the skill is actually the competency. In other words, it's the applied knowledge because you are learning a lot. Uh, the that growth phase is now very very high, and then uh, the skills that goes with it, as well as the experience that you're gaining up. And this, the fact that we can have this feedback is actually enhancing this accountability. A lot of people, because they haven't got that accountability, they would say, okay, no, this thing is not working, and uh, that's why we've got communities. So that when you get into that phase where a person can say, okay, but uh, flip, I've been there, or um, don't, you know, just that little bit of encouragement to, to help that person through. Okay, so uh, I, I think that is what, um, uh, get to that custom audience, get back to Lara, I'll speak to Lara, uh, and then the next thing is let's, instead of the, the links and, and the stuff like that, let's build a database within Facebook, and I, I, I think that that's going to help you to, to instead of wasting more time to learn and to sit with the frustration of, of getting a website up, use that, and when you've got the time, focus on that. Will that be okay? Definitely. Thank you, Anas. Um, I will do it. I've already touched on some of these uh, points, like building a database in, in Facebook. I just noticed there was a little risk that they you, it will take 90 days before you can import it to a third party. Um, but yeah, and on the custom audience, I've, I saw in Facebook, there's a place where you can have a look at people that viewed your video for 25% and 50% and 75%. So I'll, 
I'll create a custom audience on all three of those and see which one is the, the uh, best. No, no, just create a, uh, we want a, approximately, and you can use, um, if you use the same video that you've used on the first go, uh, that's going to start adding up. And that's why you use the same video over and over with different ads, uh, a different way of presenting that. But um, Lara will be able, uh, we need about 10,000 uh, of those uh, custom. And then you can create uh, around the custom audience, you can create another audience. Uh, but Lara will be able to, to direct you there. But you, that, that's the right track. And you've already, well, if you've seen it, you're going to see how simple it actually is. Um, because now we're going to start with the retargeting. And retargeting is costing a lot less than targeting. But I'd like to run that six cents uh, ad. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, that is typically, if you can get something for six cents or two cents per view, that is going to start giving you the audience. And then you target those audience because they've already seen you. But now there's a retargeting and a follow up. And that is going to start pushing up the, the conversion rates. Ciao. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. I'll jump to work. Okay. That's it. And then uh, I'll see you on the next one.